Hello everyone and uh, thanks for taking your time to be part of this AMA session. Uh, right now there's uh, about 12 or 13 devs in the chat. Uh, it's only going to be me and uh, Henry presenting. Uh, and we'll start uh, by you know simply addressing questions in the chat. So uh, any questions you got start uh, you know putting them and we'll uh, try and answer each of them. If you're not familiar with Telegram, um, you're able to raise your hand if you've joined the um, voice chat. I did see that someone had raised their hand, but I think that's gone down again. So if you have a question to ask in the voice chat, there is an option to raise a hand. Um, so please feel free to use that feature. Yeah, or simply just write in the chat or here. All right, so um, the first question, what's the utility of IBEX? Well, simply put, as we've also written in our uh, previously Reddit posts, and uh, we're also going to add it in the white paper as it's uh, it's been altered recently, uh, our main scope is to uh, develop on the BSC ecosystem. Uh, when we first started this, well, you know, get into the BSC tokens we we saw that it lacked lots of uh, lots of features out in application there were there was lots of space to develop on and therefore we came with the idea you know why are we doing anything about it let's uh, let's start creating stuff and therefore we came up with the idea uh, of the universal tracker app um uh, that that's uh, one of the projects that's going to be uh, soon available it's, it's probably going to be the first project that's going to be uh, you know available from uh, uh, from the list from the whole list um, the first version will uh, will allow people to um, simply watch their balance of ibex uh, in any fiat currency and later uh, the second version of it will allow it to uh, pretty much add any other BSC token and see the uh, see the balance in any fiat currency. So, for example, you can add your SafeMoon uh, wallet address, and we're gonna get the balance for it, and we're gonna output a chart and also the whole. Uh, we're also gonna output the value in it, in any fiat currency you pick, and you want to to see it. Also, uh, disclaimer. Um, there's uh, all the people in the team are from different countries, so uh, therefore you're not going to have and hear perfect English in this AMA. For example, even mine, uh, my English is uh, right now uh, at its best capacity. I'm doing my best to be as uh, as coherent as I can. And if there's any questions or if there's some things that are not understood, just write in the chat and uh, I'll go over it. Uh, let's see more questions. Henry, you want to go on? Yeah, someone's asked um, when we're going to be uh, listed on CMC. Um, the, at the moment, I think we sent off the CMC application about, what, 14 days? Like, 14 days ago now? Maybe two weeks? Um, basically, around sort of the third or fourth day when we listed. I'm pretty sure we were on that pretty quickly. Um, so we are waiting just to hear back from them. They said to us, the last thing they said to us was between, what did they say, between nine and 12 days. And that was sort of, what, four days ago, five days ago, six days ago. Sorry, my numbers are way off. All the days blend into one in COVID times. Um, but we're, we're not we're not far off um, with CMC list listing. Um, we are aware that they don't really give you much feedback. They kind of just eventually say to you, oh, by the way, you're live on CMC now. Um, they don't give you updates. They don't tell you, you know, how close off you are. They don't give you a countdown or anything like that. They just simply say to you, oh, by the way, we're live now. Um, so hopefully CMC listing coming in the next maybe week or so. But honestly, we we don't know any more um, definitively than that. So hopefully, you know, within the next two weeks, I would say. I would say that's extremely reasonable expectation. Uh, I can see that Cheryl Hawkins is raising her... Uh, right, raising their hand, so I'm going to allow them to speak. See if this works. That's Cheryl. Cheryl, you're allowed to speak. Go for it. 
you also have to unmute yourself when you want to talk. Hey, Cheryl, I have unmuted you. Cheryl Hawkins, I have allowed you to speak, that is. Cheryl's not speaking. She did, she did, they did raise their hand, so. Um, All right, let's, let's just move on. We can move on. Okay, so uh, also regarding CMC, um, we did we did send our requests uh, uh, really early in the in the early days of IBEX. Uh, seeing there was no reaction, uh, we decided to collaborate with the company, like we've uh, multiple times said in the chat, and uh, they uh, they resent uh, uh, optimized requests of I think four days ago. And we're expecting to see result in the following three to seven days, I think. Uh, they, are gar they guaranteed the CMC listing and also will be uh, paying them after the actual listing. So we're pretty, we're pretty sure, you know, uh, the result will be guaranteed. And after we see that coming up, after we see CMC listing, uh, the trust wallet prices will start to show up. So you're going to see your IBEX worth on trust wallet. And uh, as I said, after CMC finishes, we're going to go ahead and also collaborate with them on the CoinGecko listing. We want to see that everything's going smooth with CMC. And once we have a green light for that, we're going to proceed and collaborate more. Um, let's see, what are the plans for marketing? Regarding marketing, uh, I don't know uh, how long are you in the Telegram group, but um, today, We've seen uh, like 1K member growth in the last 24 hours. This was for this was this was due to a collaboration with uh, with some persons that uh, brought into the group crypto-related uh, uh, people, people that were in other Telegram uh, talking communities. They were added in here. It's a pretty aggressive marketing technique, but it works. You know, who likes it stays. Who doesn't who doesn't like it just leaves we also uh, had multiple insults but it's just the way it goes it's aggressive sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't right now we're still in the process of testing and seeing what's working the best other than that uh, for marketing purposes um, we've been getting top comments on different YouTube videos uh, with uh, social promoters getting uh, all kinds of uh, comments on different uh, BSC tokens, posts on Twitter, YouTube, Reddit as well. Uh, we've, we've also got in contact with multiple Twitter uh, BSC token related people that they, they give usually signals, right? And uh, I, uh, we've also discussed with uh, two or three Instagram pages that do, um, uh, like I said, they're, on, they're in the crypto niche. So we're going to see what's the best growth and which one is worth the most because all this takes money, right? We don't want to put our money in something that will simply not have any effects. So far today, we've seen a big spike. We've seen lots of buys compared to the other days. It could be simply because we've announced this AMA or it could be simply because the marketing we're doing now, it actually works. Okay, Henry, you can go on with the questions. Yeah, I was just going to say with, you know, with marketing, um, it's something that we have to be really smart about um, in a market at the moment. You know, I'm looking at like Bitcoin at the moment, at the moment with the market extremely um, volatile, it's not efficient for us to be constantly blasting IBEX the same way through the same channels at the same time. So we tend to strategically pick our moments when it comes to marketing IBEX to make sure that we're using our marketing funds as most efficiently as possible um as well as you know making sure that um we're not operating in a overly saturated marketing environment where you know in the in a big dip everyone is blasting their coins like please buy our coin da, 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 da. we don't want to do we don't want to be doing that we want to wait for the right opportune moment when the market's a bit more settled we'll do our marketing at like certain points um, some days we'll do more marketing than others, um, and we just try to make sure that we pick our marketing points um, as strategically as possible. See All right. Questions there. 
regarding the app, um, Hoj is actually the main developer working on it. Uh, Hoj is also in the voice chat. I don't know if you can answer some questions now. Hoj, you here? Yeah, I can take questions about the app. Yeah. So someone asked uh, any progress updates regarding the app. Uh, yeah, so the app is um, pretty much, I would say, 80 to 90% done. The UI and everything, that's all done. We're just trying to hook up some data, basically just for the graph. Everything else we're, we're pulling in. Um, so in terms of, of completion, it's, it's basically there. We're just waiting for... Uh, we're we're waiting for market the market to improve because it's really not a good time to release an app at the moment, and uh, it'll also take probably a week to uh, to deploy and get the uh, the uh, get Apple to um, accept it and uh, make it live on the App Store. All right. Uh, the utility of Fivebex has been answered before. We're developing apps on the BSC ecosystem and we're trying to, you know, get the most out of it. We're also planning to uh, uh, launch a BSC chart viewer after we do the uh, Ibex tracker app and also we launch the second version. Um, we're probably going to implement them together, the BSC chart viewer. It will be a similar concept like Bucoin. We will follow the same uh, uh, advertisement uh, techniques, right? We're going to have LP pools, LP pools for uh, uh, banners, for the vetted list, unvetted list, and many more. And we'll probably integrate the BSC chart viewer platform with the app itself. All right. and, and another big thing that we always want to emphasize with Ibex is that any updates and any developments we want to make, we want to make it um, as part of the community of Ibex. So using our channels through in, like Telegram and Twitter, we really want people to be able to like, be able to input ideas into the project because that's, you know, part of the way that Ibex founded, like we all came together through the internet. You know, most of us don't know each other. Um, and so we want to continue that idea through Ibex, making sure that we have a lot of input from our community, make sure we're building our community, make sure we're constantly giving updates, making sure that we're constantly transparent with what we're doing um, and making sure um, you guys are kept as part of, you know, the development strategy going forward. Yep, uh, about that, I've also thought about with Hoj, uh, we could build a simple platform, a web platform where people will be able to pull in, you know, ideas that we will later, if we like them, we will later turn them into actual projects. So pretty much if any member of the community will have any, I don't know, interesting idea, we're just going to make a system where we can put the ideas in, we can see them, we can go through them, uh, we can get in touch with you and uh, see what we can develop on it. It's the pretty much, as Henry said, uh, it's the community owned concept that we're following here token the ibex token is community ran and there's the devs behind it that's us and uh we're we're doing part-time work on this we're uh given that we're so we're so many devs we're we're all trying to you know pull in a few hours a day on this project and actually try and get uh, projects done and as you've seen so far we've actually accomplished uh, a decent amount of work and uh, soon we're going to have the app done and that's going to be proof a proof of you know our work all right henry someone asked about exchange listings exchange listings what are they asking for look? regarding exchanges um we've had this question before in the chat on telegram uh when we were at the six million market cap we would have probably been able to afford uh, uh exchange listing right so exchange listings don't come for free uh they come for a price for example we we were in discussions with coinsbit to list at one point when we were pretty we had a pretty high market cap and the price for listing the lowest package for listing was uh, about 10k us dollars 
and uh, that's a decent amount of amount of money for a fresh started project. Uh, we were thinking that instead of putting 10k into one listing, that's not going to guarantee any F, any uh, growth whatsoever. We decided to uh, actually put that money into marketing. You know, uh, invest in something else and not the not the listing. Today we have seen some movement in the number of no uh, in the numbers uh, with one small invite option. Are we going to see more of these actions? Also, do you have enough liquidity to invest in advertising, etc., since you are not full time in Divex? Yes. Yeah, so we we um uh we are going to be doing similar strat. You know, anything any strategy that we use that works, we're going to keep using it. Simple as that. You know, um, when we see it work, um, we'll use it. Um, there's a lot of marketing in crypto. There's a lot of people trying to sell us marketing and we've spent money on those things and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't work. And sometimes they work for a bit and then they stop working. Um, so really it's it's up to us to really kind of like work out when the best, uh, what the best strategy is. Uh, and when we see one working, then we'll, we'll continue to use it. Um, I think that, um, uh, yeah, in terms of liquidity in advertising, etc., um, we have enough to keep us going for now. Um, obviously, we don't have you know infinite marketing funds, um, but you know with with growth of Ibex, we're able to fund for more marketing. So the more that we grow, the more that we can spend on marketing. Uh, other questions? I think you should consider uh, comparing to FEG 1%, IBEX 5% token burning, reduce total tokens a lot faster. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're looking at those sorts of things where, you know, we don't want to burn all of our tokens. Um, we do want you know growth with our community as well. It's one one area that we can have growth, but we also want to grow in other areas. So um, we'll we'll continue to develop those ideas about burning tokens in the future. Okay, I think um, is there a donation link if we wanted to help out, and is BNB preferred? No, don't. I I think I think. I mean, I, have, I don't think we've discussed this, but I think if um, we're not necessarily comfortable with taking money from the community, but you know, if it gets to that point, perhaps we will. Will we will do that? But at the moment, we don't really have um, any plans to ask the community for money. Um, if we're really struggling, then we'll we'll start doing that. But you know, the devs pool their the advertising funds. Um, you know, if we all suddenly run out of money, maybe, but I don't think it's going to get to that point just yet. Um, okay, so I think um, we've been running for about 35 minutes now, unless there are any other, are we going to hit the six mil ever again? Yeah, we, I mean, we, we hope so. Um, we hope, we hope so. Tell your friends about Ibex, you know, keep chilling, keep um, commenting on Twitter threads, keep um, talking to people about it, you know, we hope to get to the, that growth again, you know, we're not a coin, we're not a one-time pump and dump coin, we want healthy organic growth long term. So keep investing and keep getting your friends to the best. Um, unless there are any other questions, I guess we'll wrap it up here. Will you only keep developing and updating the app or is there plans to make some new applications too? Yeah, the, 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 we, we intend, intend to make an entire platform um, through the app. So the, the app will help us expand on that. Um, it's not just gonna be an app and then we're finished. We're gonna keep doing stuff. I, I'd also like to add that the, uh, the app is complete platform. So it'll be available on Android, iOS and the web. It's going to be everywhere. Nice. There'll, there'll be a, it's possible as well to to deploy it to a um, desktop app as well, so you can have it on your Mac or your um, Windows computer. Can we have a Facebook group like other coins as it will help? Yeah, I mean, if you think it will help, um, we stayed away from Facebook just because we're all used to Telegram this year with crypto. It's been a very Telegram heavy crypto, but I mean. We'd be happy to start a Facebook group. It's definitely something we've been uh, we've we've thought about. So some people say yes, Facebook. No, not Facebook. Um, but Facebook isn't anonymous, so you know it's one thing we're not necessarily um, 
might not necessarily want to do. Any other questions? We'll uh, wrap it up if there are no more questions. Pictures of devs. Yeah, we've, we've spoken about this already. I mean, um, at the moment, we don't think, yeah, safe, we know the safe moon does that. I mean, I, we haven't ruled it out completely. I don't think, um, you know, we haven't said we're definitely not going to do that. Um, I think that in terms of doxing right now, probably won't for the time being, but at some point we, we may do. I mean, I'm not against it at all. I'm, I'm relatively happy to do that. But, you know, it is a it is a big ask to put yourself on the internet for the sake of a cryptocurrency. Um, so we'll have to get to a stage where um, we're comfortable to do that first through, you know, growing. Someone's asked, what are the plans for NFTs? How did you want to ask that one? I mean, NFTs are kind of a long way off. Um, we would need to start building our platform first. I mean, um, we'd hope to incorporate the use of NFTs through the app. Um, but yeah, that'll be down the line. I found out about this coin from a Facebook group. Okay, cool. Well, that's good to know. Thanks for letting us know. Um, we'll maybe start moving stuff onto Facebook at some point. Any competitors? I mean, all of crypto, I guess. <laughs> yeah. All the cryptos and uh, probably all the tokens that are doing chart viewers and uh, also the tokens that have in plan on creating payment provider tools. Uh, yeah, that's a long-term project. The payment provider tools, it's, it's going to allow anyone to pretty much uh, buy an online service or a product through BSC tokens. So we're going to, you're going to be, uh, we're going to be offering the API tools. It's a more technical term. We're going to be offering any e-commerce platform to integrate these payments easily in their website. And uh, also uh, the name of IBEX will be present in these checkouts. We're also probably going to offer discounts for paying uh, through IBEX and much more. Rewards, Rewards. and things like that. Well. Yeah, exactly. That's a really long term project, the, the payment provider part. Right now, we're looking for the tracker, for the chart viewer. Then we're going to get to the payment provider tools, NFTs. And from there, we will keep expanding, come up with ideas, concepts that we're going to be developing on. Regarding, Ooh, uh, go on, go on. regarding Bitcoin, Henry, I think you, you're. Uh, better talking here. Yeah, I mean, Bitcoin, like, Bitcoin dominates the market, right? 50, something like 50% of all cryptocurrency, all money flowing through cryptocurrency is in Bitcoin. So anytime Bitcoin moves, you know, 50% of the market is impacted by that. So we don't have any control over that. And it's simply good common sense, good strategy to not be launching apps and launching marketing strategies in the middle of a volatile market. You know, it would have been great if we had launched IBEX sort of 60 days earlier. That would have been great. Um, fortunately, we didn't do that. We launched it at a very annoying time. But we, I don't expect Bitcoin to be going down forever. Um, you know, if you want to know my take, I imagine it's probably going to go down to 20, in the 20s and it's probably going to bounce back up again over the next few weeks. But that's going to take time. Um, and it's much more efficient. It's going to be better off for you as, as investors um, if we wait for the perfect moment to launch apps to launch marketing strategies to make sure that they go the full mile um so yeah we're going to be patient we're not going to be scrambling around we're not going to be rushing things we're going to be doing things methodically um we're going to be doing things um constantly communicating with our community um and we're going to make sure that you know we efficiently use utilize our money and funds and brain power at the right time and if there aren't any more Questions. <laughs> Ibex mobile game. Great idea. Yeah, I love it. It's a great idea. Ibex Ibex game. I'm I'm here for it. I'm 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 definitely here for it. Cool. Um I think if we've got no more questions, we're gonna wrap it up there. Thank you so much for listening to us talk to you. Uh one-sided conversation. Thanks for asking questions. And look, we're gonna do more of these AMAs, so keep an eye out on the telegram, tell your friends, we'll be back. And uh We'll uh, hopefully see you soon again. Thanks yeah, a lot, everyone. Just uh, you can keep in touch at any time in the Telegram chat. We're going to be there answering questions left and right. 
so yeah this is it thanks for participating thanks a lot guys bye 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 thanks everyone